God's Ruach, his spirit, is the very essence of life that holds together the chaos of creation and it gives it direction and meaning. If we return back to the words in Psalm 104 that we started the service of today, you'll notice that it's talking about the spirit of God, God's Ruach, God's breath. As it says, when you give them your breath, life is created and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord continue forever. The Lord takes pleasure in all he has made. The earth trembles at his glance the mountain smoke at his touch. God's Ruach is the wind in the trees. It is the trees reaching out towards the sunlight, creating a canopy of vibrant colors across the sky. It is the pull of the moon, which forms the tides. It is the purposeful meandering of a river finding the most natural course to go back to its source, working its way through the countryside, creating its own impact on nature. Just imagine the beautiful gorges that you may walk through, formed by the meandering life of the river, by God's Ruach, God's Spirit. The king that we need is a king that is sensitive to the movements of this spirit. Because it is within the spirit that the king finds his authority. 